time. Get over here. All right, I'll, uh, I'll start packing up. Now, Javi, you need to hurry. Look, I'm not giving you shit, okay? I'm just... You weren't here when Dad was sick, okay? I get it, but... You need to fucking be here when he goes. I know. All right, I'm still on my way. <sighs> David! It's David, hey! Hey, David. I had to leave my car. It's, traffic's just it's backed up for miles. He's dead. No! No! I, I, I tried! You're a piece of shit. You know that? One time. Just the one goddamn time that you needed to be here. I tried. Please, I tried. Oh, you tried? You fucking tried? <clears throat> Everyone's here. They've been here for days, and where the fuck were you? <clears throat> we're there, all around him. People who love him, all around him. And he's scared. I'm seeing the panic in his eyes, and he's searching the room. Donde esta Javier? Donde esta mi hijo? I'm there right beside him, holding his hand, like a good son. And he doesn't even see me. He doesn't even see me because he's looking at you. You don't think there's a million places we'd rather be? You don't think we all had to make sacrifices? I'm sorry, okay? David, Jesus, I Sorry isn't bringing him back, you selfish fuck. Uncle Javi? Why are you fighting? I can hear you from inside. What's going on? Don't worry, Gabe. We're just horsing around. Just a joke between brothers, you know? Yeah. Your uncle doesn't know how to take anything seriously. Go inside, mijo. We'll be in in a minute. Go on. It's okay. Inside. I should call someone, pick up the body. Yeah. I love you, little brother. You know that, right? With everything going on. I know. You think I was jealous of you? No, I, I don't think anything. Well, I was. For a long time. You've lost more than I'll ever have. But maybe something good can come out of all this. Because we need you here. It's time to grow up. You can't run from this. Not anymore. I know. You're right. I won't even argue. I'll be around more, honestly. You can count, count on, on it, it, huh? I want to believe that. I do. Javi. Kate. I'm so sorry, Javi. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Let's go inside. Your mom needs you. What happened? Come on.
Mama. Where were you? I tried. I tried. I'm so sorry. He's gone, mijo. He's gone. <laughs> He's in a better place, Mama. No puedo conectarme. Dicen que no hay servicio. You thirsty, baby? You want some juice? Grandpa's cup was empty. You don't have to fill his cup up anymore, baby. Grandpa is sleeping. No, Yaya. People's awake. Where's your sister? <laughs> keys! Where the fuck are the keys? Take Dad's car. <laughs> keys are on the dash. <laughs> Mama, get the kids. Meet at the hospital. Don't take the highway. It's blocked. <gasps> I'll bring the van around. Where's Mari? I, I don't know. Mija. Mariana! From the stars! Mariana, we have to go. Yaya's hurt. Come on, honey. We have to go. No, no, no! 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 It's no! Okay. It's okay. County General Hospital. I know the way. Tell me when it reaches the campfire. I think we should probably get going. We will. I just need to know how fast they're moving. Damn it. How 
left my water bottle. Her just got there. Just under four hours. Come on. We should keep moving while the kids are asleep. Yeah. Looks like the herd is speeding up a little. I thought it was drifting southwest, but I'm not sure anymore. Every time I think we should just bed down somewhere and wait for it to pass, I can't shake the thought of us getting caught in the middle of it. It just keeps coming. It's slow, but that almost makes it worse. It makes it feel like we're in control. We should keep moving. It worked for us so far. As long as we stay supplied, we're fine. Yeah, maybe you're right. The van isn't so bad. We'll figure it out. We always do. Hey, I'm gonna sneak a smoke. I can't believe you found weed. Are you kidding? People were probably growing this before they realized they needed food. Do you want me to do that? The last joint you rolled looked like a kazoo. You're driving, and I've come a long way since then. Uh, it was like three days ago. Relax. Mariana's got headphones on and Gabe is drooling. I think we're in the clear. You want some? Yeah. Okay, sure. We are setting an awesome example. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> oh, when I found out David had kids, I told him I am not changing who I am around them. <laughs> and when he proposed, I reminded him that I'm not exactly stepmother material. <laughs> Case in point. He was reassuring, but yeah, I could tell he was worried about it. I knew he'd try to get me to change. <laughs> or at least he'd hope that being around the kids more would change me, you know? <laughs> I suppose it did. If it helps, I think you're doing a fine job. Yeah, it'd really help your case if you weren't waving a joint around while you said that. <laughs> what? How is this not a ringing endorsement? I used to talk shit about all those mothers who'd go on about raising their kids being the hardest thing in the world. Oof. Gabe's making me start to think they had a point. <laughs> His mood swings are just... Oh, I don't know. Some days I just want to leave him by the side of the road. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Jesus, obviously. Gabe's been emotional lately. I'm sure he's just, you know, going through a phase. Emotional? <laughs> right. That's cute. Look, I love these kids, but I could do without Gabe reminding me I'm not his mother whenever he's pissed. Man, he's a teenager. Puberty, hormones. Oh yeah, the second you start getting boners, the whole world starts to get dark. <sighs> what are you talking about? It sounds delightful compared to dealing with bloody underwear. <laughs> Christ, I need to get laid. <laughs> That was an awkward transition. Sorry about that. No, oh, I can pull over. It wouldn't take a minute. <sighs> wouldn't be worth it for just a minute. Huh. Mm. What's that smell? That's gross. Hey, Mariana, I, I think we, we uh, must have hit a skunk or something back there. I already know you guys do drugs. That's a pretty severe way of phrasing it, Mariana. 
Don't tell Gabe. He's the one who told me. Oh, oh my god. You're even smoking in the car now? All right. Everyone roll the windows down before you all get contact high. We're about to make a supply stop. You praying for our safety, Mari? I'm praying I find a candy bar. <laughs> All right. What do we actually need? Uh, a candy bar. Need, Mariana. Not want. Really need a candy bar. You heard the crowd. Please, God, let there be candy bars. Amen. All right. Well, let's start with some gas and move up from there. Where are you going? Okay, that's cool. Have fun. Oh, Jesus. It never ends with him. I hate when they fight like that. I really hate it. It's like all Gabe wants to do is argue. Doesn't matter what it's about. Hey, I know that's what families do. They fight, they make up, and they fight all over again. At least you have your headphones. Yeah, but the batteries have been dead for a couple of weeks. I mostly wear them to fool you guys. It's easier to stay out of it that way. <laughs> you... You sneaky little... <laughs> That's smart. That's pretty smart. Be nice to find some dinner. In a junkyard. You never know. These past four years, people have been hoarding all kinds of shit in all kinds of places. Oh, and Mari, if there's any trouble, you can find one of these cars. Yeah? Lock yourself in and don't come out. Not even... Okay. Good girl. Hey, any luck, kiddo? I need a pen. Or a pencil. Just something to write with. A pen? Why are you looking for that? There's just something I really want, I really need to do. And I need a pen for it. Last night I was thinking about this stupid story my mom used to tell me all the time before bed. I used to hate it. But then I realized, I don't remember the ending. It was this goofy ending she thought was so funny and I thought was so dumb. I want to write down everything I can remember about everything. Because if I forget, and they're all gone, I'm kind of gone too. At least a little bit. I just think that might be kind of important. Maybe. That's a great idea, Mariana. Waste oil. No 
use to us. Most of the dashboard is torn out, seats are gone. Ah, this thing's dead. Okay, now I'm sorry I did that. Oh, that's gross. You find anything? I can't stop thinking about that herd. We get caught in it, and, and that's it. Peace, asshole. Can't charm your way out of that one. Be gone in seconds. Hey, don't think about that. We're careful. We're smart. We'll stay ahead of them. <sighs> Luck runs out just as easily as gas. There's gonna be a last one, you know? A last tank of gas. Last piece of food. What if this place is empty? And, and the next? And the next? We're not gonna let that happen. Okay? <sighs> okay. I let it have its five minutes. I'm good. That could hold a lot of gas. Could be really handy if we stayed for a while. Once, this car made someone very happy. Now it sits here, rotting away. Así es la vida. It helps. Acetylene. Handy for welding, but not much else. Wouldn't have minded having one of these back in the day. Come to Papa. Barely anything. I'll need to find more. think these tires would fit the van. What's going on in there, buddy? I'm in a bad mood, okay? I want it to go away, but... he won't. I just wish we weren't always on the road. I like being with other people. It's just... We're in that car so damn long. The AC hasn't worked in ages. And then... It, it ate my last damn tape. Well, that's a sweet idea. But it's safer to keep moving. I don't know. Maybe just leave me alone. Okay. But if you want to talk later, I'm... around.
This one looks promising. Bingo. Some sort of fuel tank. Too risky to search up there. Doesn't look stable. Looks like there's more to see up here. Any luck? Some. But not enough. Gabe? Hey, Gabe. Let's go take a look over there. Gabe? Stay close to Javi. Got it? Oh, all right. Hey, look. There's one they never took to pieces. Good catch. Shit. Locked. Still might be gas in the tank, though. Looks like it came from in there. Gabe, stay close. Ransacked a long time ago. Might be able to get in through the hatch. Locked. <clears throat> Not gonna be able to pry this open. Damn it. <sighs> Looks pretty run down. Gabe, come check this out. Not the cleanest place. Oh, no muertos at least. Let's just be careful. Pretty comfortable. 
and pretty gross. Are you kidding me? Lucky for you, they put enough preservatives in this stuff to last for centuries. Well, there's enough food in here to keep us going for a long time. Oh, check it out. This is actual honest-to-God pudding! Seriously? And it's not just food. There's a mattress. There's blankets. Someone else's mattress. Someone else's blankets. We need to just take our gas and get on the road. This place does have a funny feeling about it. And if Muertos were to somehow surround us... Great. Now I'm officially creeped out. Come on, one night. We bunk down, eat a real meal. It would be nice not to sleep in the van for a change. Please. The herd is coming, if it's not here already. We should go and get ahead of it, before it's too late. The fence is reinforced. We'll be fine. We found this. Why can't we just enjoy it? Javi, can we? We could stretch out, sleep well for once? Come on, you know it's not a big deal. We've got guns. We can protect ourselves. The kids are right. We deserve a little break from the van. Yes! <clears throat> kids, go wild. Just stay indoors and keep your ears open. <laughs> Just in case. Cool. You can have your own. I don't know how I always end up being the mean stepmom, and you get to be the cool uncle. We should be able to switch roles now and then. Keep the kids off balance. Look, it's just a nice break. We get to spend the night with four walls instead of four wheels. And I think we deserve that. Whatever. It's fine. Grab some gas. We're out of here in a few hours. Hey, uh, wait, but you... You're the cool one, remember? She'd expect it from you. What the fuck do you think you're doing with our gas? Go on, speak up! I'm sorry, man. Look, it's just a can. We needed it really we? bad. I fucking knew it. There's more than just you out of here. You ain't the loner type. I can tell. I know you got people. No, uh -uh. I'm alone. Honestly, people just slow me down. You just said we, you lying fuck. We! Fan out and look for the others. Lonnie, you're with me. Hey! You assholes in there! I got your boy! You don't want him getting shot, you best come out there careful with your hands up! Go on, you first. You get ambushed by your own people, that shit's gonna make my day. Open it real slowly. Friends had a real face, Tom. Huh? You can't just take what you like. I don't roll over like that. I ate all those. Yeah, me. You? By yourself? Now. Yeah, what can I say? I fucking love pudding. You got a real smart mouth. You fucking watch what you say. Look, I I, I get it, alright? 
You're starving. Who the fuck is it? At the end of your rope, thought you hit pay dirt. Honest mistake. But I got this sneaky fucking feeling <clears throat> that you're full of shit. I ain't gonna let it be like the last time some assholes rolled on us. Keep an eye on this dickhead. I'm gonna grab some cuffs. You got it. Just chill, okay? No need to make this any harder. Look, your buddy's not thinking straight. So let's talk, okay? You and me, we, we can get this sorted out. No, it's his call. Look, man, this doesn't have to go. What the fuck was that noise? What you got hiding under there, boy? If you know something, you better spill it. You don't want me finding out for myself. Come on, man, what else? There are muertos down there. There were a bunch of them outside, too. The dead, huh? Well, then, we better take care of that, shouldn't we? Hey, my family, where are they? What did you do with my family? Answer me! Just do us both a favor and pretend you're still asleep. I wouldn't start talking if I were you. You're lucky we do things a certain way. I'm already tempted to put a bullet in your brain for what you did to Lonnie back then. If we start talking, I'm gonna get angry. There's gotta be a way we can work all this out. You know, make a deal or something. It ain't my call, all right? You best be glad it ain't. Please, just stop, all right? You don't want me riled up, kid. Not another word, or God help me, I'll put you to sleep myself. We still got a haul ahead of us, and I'm not about to listen to you. What the hell? Stop! Stop! Oh, shit! No, no, no! Good. Just keep looking forward. Look, I'm no threat to you, okay? I surrender. Well, that's obvious. Seeing how you didn't shoot that guy. Okay, now don't do anything stupid. Because I'm not as nice as you. I won't hesitate. You're a kid. Well, wait, did you do that? With the tree? I was trying to stop the truck. Oh, shit. Yeah. You stopped it all right. 
tree fell slower than I thought it would. Put your hands up and close your eyes. Look, I'm the victim here. We're all victims. Oh, so it's okay for you to rob me? This is payment for saving you. Hey, that's for my niece. She loves chocolate more than anything. I promised it to her. Please. Keep your eyes closed and count to a hundred before you go. Wait, just... My family. I need to get back to them. We were attacked and I don't... Look, I just need to know where I am. We were driving down the 522 and that's when we found the junkyard. They're still there. I need to get back to them. I know where that is. You said you were driving? In our van, yeah. I'll take you to the junkyard, if you let me have your van. I get you there in one piece, then I drive away. Yeah, absolutely. You got a deal. Good. Let's go. This really necessary? I don't know you, I don't trust you, and I'm not taking any chances. So it's safer for both of us if you're tied up. Look, I get it. You're being cautious. Glad we understand each other. The name's Javier, by the way. People call me Javi. Clementine. Clementine. Cool name. If you say so. You don't want to talk? Fine. But how about you give me that gun back so I can at least defend myself? For all I'd know, you'd turn around and use it on me. You give me a weapon, we can protect each other. I give you a weapon, I can't take my eyes off you. At least this way I know what I'm up against. Muertos. The herd caught up with us. What do you call them? Walkers. Well, what do you call the ones that run? They're all fucking walkers, okay? Look, I'm just... I'm not used to being around other people. Not for a while, anyway. Usually, it's just me on my own. Apology accepted. I wasn't apologizing. So... Who's at this junkyard? My brother's kids. And his wife. It's impressive, surviving this long. Not sure how you did it. Just keeping everyone together like that. I did whatever I had to do to protect them. Kept them out of trouble the best I could. Sucks. That sometimes it's not enough. Well, how about you? You must have been pretty young when this shit started. I was. But some people looked out for me, too. What happened to them? Same thing that happens to everyone. Shit. We can't stay here. There's a town up ahead. We can stay there until the herd passes. Otherwise, we're walker food. Can you do that, please? Fine. Whatever you say. Thank you. Don't make me regret this. Come on! <sighs> there!
get to the gate. Let's keep going. We'll open up. Shit. Hey. Open up. I can't open the gate till you clear them out. Can't risk it. Francine, one of these days, those doors are gonna close, and your ass will be on the other side. <laughs> yeah, and when that day comes, Trip, I promise, I'll eat you first. It's Clementine, right? You staying a while this time? No. Once the walkers pass, I'm taking this guy to a junkyard off the highway. My family might be trapped there, hiding from some very bad dudes. Well, shit. I'm truly sorry to hear that. This herd rolled in pretty quick. We're hoping it's gone just as fast. So, just keep your heads down and steer clear of trouble. You got me? There's too much going on outside the walls tonight. We'll be cool. Just need a place to ride out the herd, that's all. All right. I'm gonna hold you to that. And I wouldn't recommend changing your mind. If you wanna hang on to all your teeth, that is. Now head on in. I got shit to do. Well, welcome to Prescott. It's a pretty cool place, actually. Built from an old airstrip, I guess. The people, on the other hand, they're not my favorite. Usually I'm in and out as quick as I can manage. Not exactly an option this time, though. Hey, what's the problem? You have some sort of history here that I should know about? Not really. I just... I know what people are capable of. Hey, Javi. Let's go. This way. I gotta see a guy about some bullets. Jeez. I haven't been in a place like this since, well, you know, it's just like the old days. Listen, I gotta take care of something. Hang tight. Well, wait, wait. What should I do? I don't know. Why don't you make some friends? Looks like someone's in the middle of a game. I wonder where they found this old thing. I haven't seen one of these in years. Wonder if it's loaded. Excuse me. Oh, you again. You got some moves, I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I note you from somewhere? I don't know. Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. For what it's worth, I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. A lifetime ban. Shit. Should have had a 20-year career. The way I see it, nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. <laughs> and that got a lifetime ban? Honestly, I don't even think about it anymore. Past is the past. Hmm. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place? I just take his money. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I'm just letting you win. Oh, actually, if you're the gambling type, game's poker. Five-card stud. I'll raise you. 
What do you think? Should I call or should I fold? Hmm. Don't get too intimidated. I lose more often than I care to admit. He's bluffing. He's got bullshit written all over him. <laughs> Is that a fact? All right. I think I'll listen to the man. Call. Moment of truth. Flip him. Oh, my. Ain't that a pretty sight. Good looking hand there, but not good looking enough. God damn it. Shit, sorry. And thanks for playing. Let me get you a drink for the assist. On the house. Bottom up. Wow, man, this smells like turpentine. <laughs> That's the weak stuff. Don't turn away from me. I'm talking to you. Oh, shit. Hey, what's the point of talking when I already told you a deal is a deal? And it's done. What's going on? This guy ripped me off. I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries, and he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire. He could have gotten both of us killed. Oh, yeah? And who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? Because I don't scare easy, all right? And I don't respond to threats, neither. Just make it right. We can all walk away from this nice and easy. Uh, well, you can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clem, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to him. He's not even nervous. I could have died because of his bullets. Oh, fucking believable. Look out! Hey, listen. Let's all cool down, huh? You were acting crazy. I was too. We just got a little out of hand. That's all. Just give me what I'm owed. Jesus, you gotta get her under control, man. This ain't no way to do business. All right, stop. Seriously, this isn't getting you anything. We had a deal. All right, hey, okay, all right, so, hey, we'll, we'll trade back. I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Drop the gun! Right now! Say he attacked you and that he was going for his gun. I fucking warned you! Eli attacked him. I only shot because... Shut it! You've done enough talking. Drop it. There's a herd out there and you're firing off a fucking... What the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi, okay? It was self-defense. Enough from you. Did she really have to shoot? Look at my eye, man. Of course she's telling the truth. The guy ripped her off, reached for his gun, and would have shot me if she hadn't stopped him. See? You happy now? <sighs> God damn it. I'm putting you two under lock and key until I figure out what to do Whoa. with you. Whoa! Okay, what? Are you for real? As real as it gets. Now move it. Got some nerve coming in here fucking up my bar. I oughta punch your fucking lights out. Both of you. But Eli was a grade A certified dipshit. I'll even have someone come take a look at that cut. Hey, thanks for having my back at the hangar. That was, um, that was cool of you. I wasn't sure there for a minute. Of course. Anytime. Well, I mean, you and I are a team now. Thanks. I mean it. Just don't think this makes us friends or anything. Hello? I'm Eleanor. I'm what passes for a doctor around here. The trip sort of overdoes it sometimes. I hate that I'm treating you in a cage, like you're some feral animal. Javier, pleasure's all mine. Is it now? Now. Let's see about that wound. Yeah, he got you good. Try to hold still. 
Why is it always the pretty ones who end up causing the most trouble? As if good looks equal bad behavior or something. <sighs> I've never understood it. Oh, I'm not a troublemaker. No, trouble sees me and runs the other way. That explains why Trip locked you up for the night. People are saying she killed a man in cold blood. If you don't mind me asking, what did happen exactly? That they were arguing and that she went crazy over nothing? Look, things got out of hand. Clementine was only trying to make a point, but then... You make it sound so casual. Best thing is probably for you two to leave town and get back to your group. We were attacked earlier this evening. There were four of us. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. If there's... If there's anything I can do to help. Well, not that I have much to offer you, but... I know a thing or two about losing family. Hey, it's okay. You've done enough. I hear you, but... Eleanor? You done yet? Just about. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm driving you that junkyard myself. Get you out of my hair, and no one can say I didn't do right by no one. In the meantime, you two can sleep right here and think about what shitheads you were earlier. On my terms and on my timeline. You got me? All right. Fair enough. Fair enough? Go kiss a skunk's ass. I should be earning a goddamn Boy Scout badge for this. Trip. It doesn't seem right to wait. Javi's people, they could need a medic. Nah, -uh, no way. Not putting you in that kind of danger again. That's not your call. Look, maybe there's another way. We've got a rear gate down at the other end of the airfield. We don't use it much, but, well, we could leave tonight. Slip past the herd, get a jump start on reaching that junkyard. If your family does need help, I'll be right there to give it. Something tells me Trip won't be too happy about you sneaking us out the back door. He'll get pissy, but he'll get over it. Sometimes with him, you gotta ask for forgiveness rather than permission. Anyway, think about it. I've got to check on some patients, but I'll be back in an hour. You know? Yeah. She's... She's something. The thing is, is, and maybe this sounds weird, but I still trust Trip more than I trust her. You're right. Trip's got more muscle, just in case. We'll wait and get a ride with him. Glad you're finally listening to reason. You know, when I met you, I thought you'd just be another asshole like everyone else. And to think that when we first met, you nearly blew my head off. <laughs> yeah, guess I made the right call. It's gonna be a while before that herd passes. We might as well get some sleep. Good idea. I'm exhausted. I'll get the lamp. Getting into first gear is the hardest part. Now, just stay on the road. <laughs> Most important rule there is. Now, let's try shifting into second. Not bad at all, especially for a first time. You just gotta ease up off the clutch a little smoother, all right? You don't have to make the switch all at once. I want to do it again. You will. And next time, just be gentle. And once we get down to Florida, we'll ditch the wheels and I'll make a sailor out of you. Mark my words. You too, buddy. I just can't get him to talk. It's unusual for his age. Well, the heater's broken. He's cold. 
Only makes sense to head for Florida sooner than later. Leave all this snow behind, right? Be like summer every day. Hell, I'm gonna have to find me some shorts. Are you sure Florida's better? I'd rather be scared and warm than scared and frozen. I'll teach AJ to fish, how to swim. We'll watch the sunrise every morning. All three of us. But we ain't getting nowhere doing 25 miles an hour. Shift her into third. Let's get her really cooking. Well, there you go, Clem. Time we get to Florida, you'll be a better driver than me. Proud of you, Clem. Hey, I really appreciate you teaching me. You know, I, I always dreamed about the day I'd teach Duck to drive. You're the best second chance I could ask for. Where's your blanket, goofball? I swear this kid never makes a peep. Who knows how long he's gone without a blanket? The duck was gabbing a mile a minute at his age. Wasn't full sentences, but something. There's nothing wrong with AJ. He'll talk when he's ready. I know. Just a bit odd for a child his age. Then again, Albert Einstein didn't talk till he was four, and <laughs> look how he turned out. Crap! I got it! Turn the wheel! Don't! Okay. Shit. Help me up. I don't. I don't feel anything. That's good. No, Clem. I don't feel anything. I can't feel my legs. I just can't get up. Damn it! Well, I, I can get you into the car! I don't... <clears throat> Shit! This ain't gonna work, Clem. Hey! Hey! Stay away from him! <laughs> you gotta go help AJ, Clem. I ain't letting you watch those fuckers chew me up. No, I won't give up on you! No! Clementine, no! There's no point! Come on, Kenny, help me! Not today, you son of a bitch! Go! Don't look back! there. Hey, Clem. Yeah, we're close. I gotta say, I hope your people are safe and sound. Eleanor asked me before we left to make sure of it. Oh, yeah? Yes, sir. So that's what I'm gonna do. Though why she went to bat for you, I've got no idea. I mean, she hardly even knows you. And you don't know her, for that matter. Makes a guy wonder, you know? You know? There's not much mystery to a trip. She's a good human being. Yeah. Eleanor's got a big heart. That's for damn sure. 
Guys, that's the place. Oh shit. What a mess. Jesus. Must have been hundreds of them. Kate's good in a crisis. She'd know how to get shelter. What's that? Listen to what you said. Lock yourself in and don't come out, not even once it's quiet. It kept running through my head like on a loop. You did exactly what you should have done. I always knew you were a smart kid. Thanks. It was scary at first, but once the muertos couldn't see me anymore, they just passed by. Kate and your brother, where are they? We got pulled apart when that huge bunch of muertos showed up. Kate yelled that they were going to try to make it back to the van. And that's where we're headed. Let's go find your brother, sweetheart. Oh no. No. No sign of them. They must have seen it like this, then gone someplace else to hide. Kate. They're trapped in there. Mariana, stay back. see all of you. Happy you're all okay. Another couple of minutes, we might not have been. But then, you showed up. Just when it really mattered. Yeah, well, that's kind of my thing. Oh. I, I wanted to come after you. I, I swear I did. You don't have to snot all over my shirt about it. I thought we were dead. Like, never gonna see you again dead. We only had a couple bullets left. I thought we were done for. There's no way I would let that happen. Yeah, well, you weren't here. The herd showed up and Mariana was gone and we were waiting and, and waiting and then... I was just so scared. I'm here now. You don't have to be scared. Hey, you hurt yourself. You must have scraped it in the truck. Didn't even notice. Hey, at least it's not a bite. Well, not much we can do about it here. I've got a lady friend who's a doctor. Soon as we get back to Prescott, she'll patch you right up. I'm Trip, by the way. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. We should be getting back. Don't want to push her luck. Who's the kid with the gun? She have a name you want to share with us? Or are you going to make me do my own introductions? Clementine's a friend. Hi there. Glad I was able to help. Well, we're very grateful to you. Really. There's a town nearby. It's safe. I like the sound of that. Oh my god. Javi, do they have hot water? Even, like, lukewarm water would be okay. Ugh, oh, and bubble bath. Wouldn't bubble bath be amazing? I think so. Right, Trip? <laughs> well, I guess you'll find out. 
I thought you'd been to this place. I have. I just... I didn't have much time to relax in my jacuzzi suite, <laughs> you know? Between you and me, these kinds of missions don't usually go so well. But you found every single one of your people. And you found them alive, healthy, reasonably cheerful. It's a hell of a thing. Guess I'm a lucky guy. Luckier than anyone I've ever met. When we get back to Prescott, you still owe me a working ride. I haven't forgotten about our deal. You couldn't have known what happened to your van, but still, I need some way out of here. I was hoping you might stay. You know, considering... Considering what? You came all the way out here with me. Yeah, for the van, not for... Cool. Thanks. Kate needs a doctor, <laughs> which means we gotta go. We got a window here, man. We gotta get a move on before they start shooting again. I'm gonna fucking kill them. I'm gonna kill all of them. You wanna die too? You think that's gonna help your little girl? So what? I'm just supposed to let him live? If you wanna do what's right for your family, you'll come with me. It's time to go, man. We stay here and we finish this. Are you fucking nuts? We gotta get the fuck out of here We've right now! We already killed one of you. If we don't stop them, they're gonna come after your family again. Let Trip help them. You stay with me. What? No! Uh, Javi, you have to come with us! Javi, please! Trust me, Javi. We have to end this now. No, Javi! Please come with us! Get her back to Prescott. We'll cover you. Javi! Go with them. I'll be fine. Give me a hand here, kid. Just keep firing until they're out of sight, okay? I'm ready. Javi, don't! Thank you.